Hey, what's going on guys? Pete with Auto Pair Tips. In this video, I'm working on a 07 Chevy Colorado. I had a customer come in and they wanted me to do a spray and bed liner. Spray and bed liners are real easy to do. I've shot a lot of different brands. We use the Raptor. I like it the best. It's easy and really durable. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to spray that bed liner so you can get a finish just like this one here. The first step into getting your bed ready is to wash it out with soap and water or some type of solvent and dry it thoroughly. I cleaned the inside of this bed with a product called Super Clean. I did a review on this product in my last video and I'll put a link in the description below. They recently contacted me about doing a giveaway. So in this video, we're going to be giving away a degreaser. One's in an aerosol can and one is in a spray bottle. Alright guys, here's how to enter. I'll put my email in the description below. Just send me a picture of whatever it is you're working on and the one with the greasiest, nastiest project is going to be the winner. Alright, let's get back to the video. Next, you want to check your bed for any major rust areas. If you have some, you need to hit them with 36 grit. And remember, anywhere you break through down to the metal, you need to add a little bit of primer. The remaining area, you can hit with 80 grit paper. I'm going to put links in the description below for the sandpaper, the bed liner, the solvent, and anything else that's needed to do this job. Just click on one of them links, purchase what you need. Anything you do purchase through one of those links, a small portion of that does go to help the channel and I appreciate that. After you've sanded down the areas that you had to prime, it's time to go ahead and clean the bed out of any dust and debris. Once you've done that, you're going to wash it one more time with some solvent and then it's time to start taping it up. Make sure you mask off the area that you want to spray, cover the rest of the truck. You don't want to get any overspray on your paint job. This all-in-one Raptor kit is a real easy kit to use. It comes with four containers of the bed liner, one container of the activator, a spray gun, and a cup to show you just how much activator to use in each container of bed liner. All right guys, let's start mixing. First thing you're gonna do is take the activator and you're gonna fill up the plastic cup just to the fill line. All right, here's a side note for you. On the spray gun that comes in the kit, you're not gonna get the air hose fitting or the regulator. You're gonna need to have your own or purchase it separately. You can also roll this kit on, but it's not gonna have the same look as if you spray it. I've seen a truck that's had it rolled in it before, and it almost looks like that popcorn ceiling you see in a house. It's not very pretty. On these smaller trucks, one kit is plenty, but if you've got a full-size Ford or a full-size Chevy with an eight-foot bed, you're probably gonna need two kits. And if you have a full-size Dodge, just go ahead and trade it in for a Chevy or a Ford. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're going to need two kits also. When we're spraying this bed liner, we stay anywhere from 8 to 12 inches away. And we move the gun at a steady pace so you don't get any heavy buildup in one area. If you've never done anything like this before, you might want to get a piece of cardboard and practice spraying it so you can see how it comes out. So when you go to apply it to your vehicle, it's not a surprise. You know how it's going to shoot out of your gun. I think the best tip I can give you is... Be consistent while you're spraying. Keep the gun at the same distance. Try to maintain the same pace. If you follow these steps, you'll be amazed at how good this project looks when you're done with it. Your friends will think you went out and paid somebody to do it. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Catch you later.